moving on to the next half of this tune. I'm going to play it for you once and then we're going to play it together. So the notes we have are C sharp, D, E, C sharp, A, C sharp, E, G, E, F sharp, D, A, D, F sharp. So let's play that really slow together. And then the next part sounds like this. So that part is E, C sharp, A, C sharp, E, F sharp, D. And then the last part goes E, D, C sharp, B, A. So we're going to put that line all together now. The next part sounds like this. And the notes are B, G, D, G. B, D, C sharp, B. And then the next part sounds like this. So we're going to put that together now. And then the last part of this section is And those notes are just B, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D. Perfect. Now we're going to go back to the beginning of this second section and we're going to put it all together. enjoyed learning this song so far. You can go back and you can repeat these sections as many times as you want. Let me give you a couple of tips this week to help you practice. Number one, slow practice is the best practice. A famous musician told me once that I can play fast because I've learned how to play slow. So take a section, play it really slow, And when you get it right, go back the second time and repeat it a little bit faster. But always remember, don't take any shortcuts. It's always better to start out slow and get the notes right than practice a bunch of mistakes and have to relearn it. And the second tip I have for you is make practicing fun. Practicing shouldn't be a chore. You should enjoy it. So make it a game. And what I tell a lot of my Skype students is when you have a lot of 16th note rhythms like this song, maybe make different rhythms out of it. So and then maybe change the rhythm the next time. Or you can play it this way. And 
and then go back and play it the right way. And what that will do is that will help even out the fingers and it will show you maybe little problem spots that you have with certain fingerings. If you need any more help with this tutorial, you can always watch the original video that I posted of this song, which has me playing it from beginning to the very end, so you can hear what it sounds like. And in the original Disney version, it starts out at a pretty decent tempo, and then it speeds up to the end. So you can have a lot of fun with this song. It's been great talking to all of you again. I hope to see you again soon. Take care, and remember, music isn't music unless you're having fun.